Ah, hi everyone. Dave the Rave here. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a, a little demonstration from my friend Pavel, or is it Pavli? Anyway, it's Deep Sky Dad over in Slovenia, over that way. Um, kindly sent me one of his autofocus three autofocus of gizmos this one I've just opened the box comes with -da! all the little gizmos starts off with the hang on, let's put the camera back down a bit head back down to the working area here's the box with all the gizmos try and make this video as concise and fun as possible. There's the autofocus of itself. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go back a bit. Excuse me. So in the box comes a bag of screws and things. Gonna lose my camera, hang on. <laughs> no fun. So I've got that, 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 that. Um, Cable, USB cable for connecting. Actually, this is the um, mover control box for moving it in and out. The autofocuser, can we get it? There's the adapter. Now, the, the scope I'm going to put it on, I'll show you in a minute, a few secs, is um, a Takahashi. So, Pavel makes these. For a majority, well, for a lot of telescopes already, they're available. This is the one for the Takahashi 102 FSQ, but the focusers are more or less are, are identical. There's a wheel, gear wheel. -da! I've got my gloves on here. I don't know why. <laughs> I'll take them off. I have a little device for connecting the unit onto the the wheel of the telescope look this isn't really this isn't rocket science one thing and he very kindly supplied me with the screws to to attach the adapter um, on my case they were slightly longer so I ended up just popping on eBay and getting a few new ones look at the length of it they're 45 mil on my ones on my focuser as against 50 on a 105 ISQ FSQ even right here comes the fun bit I'll stand up for this grab my little telescope it's a wee beastie so the first part is I'm going to do is double check that these screws are now correct since I bought new ones so the unit itself fits onto the Turn that around that way a bit. If you can see that, okay. Onto the fine adjuster. Gonna wash it with these Takahashi's because if they, if your um, focus is locked, they can get really, really temperamental. It can screw them up. Now these, this is a brand new telescope, and let's take these gloves off. So I, suffer from arthritis sort of thing in my hand so I tend to wear a glove on one hand but to match it up I put two on um, yeah as I say this is really stiff so if this but obviously on the fine mechanism it isn't quite so bad so if this being it's got all the newness in it so if this works on that brilliant stuff right first thing I'm going to do is <laughs> before I can go any further at all is check these screws for, every pl for, for attaching the adapter at the right length because I tried the other day and they were as I say they were too long so I just crack them off whip that out and I went off and bought three mil screws when uh, they, they were four mil so take one out oops grab a screw and 
obviously put the adapter on which is just under there it'll only, it's pretty obvious which way it goes around and the screws actually that screw is actually threading into the adapter which um, which is a pleasant surprise rather than just slipping straight through but it does have a a collar bit on it so it should just slide through once I'm just going to turn it around that way to double check A that I've bought the right thread Pavley told me it was 3 mil, not uh, 4 mil, not 3 so I just want to confirm that it's not oh my goodness keep going keep going keep going before you touch the bottom I want you to go to the beautiful tight 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 brilliant so they're 45 mil Whew, that's a result so that one's that one's okay so crack this one off Oof. not sure if you're supposed to undo them Oh yeah, the other one's the other end should hold it. Okay, just babbling to myself. Slowly take the other one out. And the focuser doesn't fall. I'm not very high tech, so if I can do this, anyone can do it. I'll probably get so far. Oh, come on. Ooh. That's all I need, isn't it? Just looking down and checking they are the <laughs> the two screws are the same length so that's that one out let's put this one in how quick is this i'm really attractive to the um these this type of autofocuser because it's no there's no intrusion into the the main focuser itself you don't have to take wheels off or any such thing as that it just fits on the outside it's external yeah perhaps the downside might be that you're adding to the bulk of the, of the the bottom you'll see what I mean if I turn the scope over the motor focuser fits on here so obviously there's that amount of depth there but this scope's got a rotator so there's no I suppose I could always ro rotate it round the other way. Now that's starting to take there. So I just don't want to leave it unscrewed. That one's taken on there. The old adage is tight is tight, too tight is broke. So I'm using the short end of the um, Allen key to get it tight. I'd rather it stayed like that. As long as my focuser still works, <laughs> which she does. I just move it, try and get it balanced so that they're equally tight. Well, nothing's coming off. Nah, that's fine. Beautiful. I'll just pause the video there and I'll come back and work out part two. Oh. Right, the next task, all I've got, by the way, the, there are no distractions that come with this thing. I mean, it's hence the reason I'm doing a video, I suppose. But all I've done is taken a picture or downloaded a photograph, well, from Pavlis from Deep Sky Dad's um, website, an image of one that's already on. And I mean, it is. If I can do it, then it must be idiot proof. Um, and I'm just using this this image as a as a rough as a guide um, now so my next my next task 
is to put the bracket on. Now, if the one thing to watch with this is to get the bracket on the right way around, I should think. So looking at it, I've got the, the connections here for your USB, um, what do you call it, temperature sensor and the controller on that edge. So I want that to be looking at my picture. Well, that's got to go like so. Oh, where am I going here with this? Ah, no, that's not right. That's right. Help, I need somebody help. So that has to go that way around. So looking at that, we have to put the there's a there's a groove on the on the actual motor unit, a slot there. So that tells you that, that has to go in there. I should imagine. If I get this video wrong, it's brilliant. So that that would indicate to me that we have to put this bit on here first. And if you look on here, you should be able to see it. There are only there are four drill down or processed holes. So there's any the idea is that and that they'll only fit on one way. So you can't really go wrong with there. Do you have to marry the slots up to the to the holes? And you need a tiny I don't know what sort this is, is a two mil I think this is a two mil hex key for this because Pavel supplies eight little screws one of which has just disappeared oh, that's a good start isn't it where'd you go no oh, it's behind you oh no it's not oh, well. i've got four more to play with i think I'm, i might put in a suggestion oh, goodness knows. why is it you drop a screw and it disappears completely so anyway there goes another one. They're not magnetic, so they're not sticking on the thing. Mm. See, I'm really good at this, so as you can tell, let's put it in the flipping hole first. Oh, oh these things always end up being a, a, a comedy show for me. Let's get one in anyway. Oh. So that's not the right one. Hmm. That ain't right. I don't know how this is supposed to work then. Okay, stop video, come back in a minute. Okay, so these as I say these um here's the bracket for that holds everything together this will there are four course there are four holes on the adapt the the adapter that fits to the focuser and this will only this unit will only it, you'll marry them up that's all you can do really um, I think this is a two mil hex key and that and they just fit in there's not a lot of the thread doesn't go a long way down on these so but it just puts fear it does go in uh, da, 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 da. And these four mm -hmm. well that one is not that one's not catching at all at the moment it's not right there maybe these screws are slightly different lengths Let's try a different one it worked just a minute ago. That one's caught on the. Mm, maybe it is. That one's caught. Cool. You just got to get them right, and I think they're okay then. There's two, two in. The idea is that then you can. You need to have them slightly adjusted. You can move the, this plate in and out just so that you can get it for fine tuning. 
I'll do that one a bit. Then about fingers and thumbs. You could tell I used to be an engineer working for Ferrari. We just need to get the holes lined up. And now. That one. Just once you get them started, we'll be all right. Maybe they are slightly different lengths. I'm not sure. Get once you get the hole there. Come on, in you go. Don't want to lose. Want to take care of these screws. I don't. Don't fancy losing them. Right. No, it's not going in that one. There he is. Once they bite, you're off. Just tighten them up. Bear in mind, I've never done this before, and all I've done is straight switch the video on and straight out of the box. Now what? Well, there's only one one way it can go. Oh, it's got. But it has got a groove either both sides, so you can suit yourself to fit which way around you want the the controllers. So I think I might have them. For example, if you if you use a control box pretty much like I do, yeah, that's great. That fits really well there. So that, that way I'd have the power units facing. That one way, maybe. But I think I'd prefer it that way. So that's better tighten these screws up, I think, for a minute. Looking at it, I can't see they're going to be an issue. I've got it. I think middle diddle is probably best. You, you can see the grooves for adjusting um, this end plate so I think what I'll do is I'll push it in. still a bit tight Maybe. shows how sense no that's it they won't it won't actually move anywhere so I'm just staying there nice and level just tighten these screws off nice and tight is tight too tight is broke that was old I um, can't remember his name but he used to do the they're still there the YouTube videos on the Ioptron ZEQ 25 main and he always used to say that American guy tight is tight too tight is broke so I'm just using the the end, the short end of the little doodle of the Allen key. Now I want the I'm going to make sure the hand controller and everything is facing that way. I think for now we can always turn it round the other way at some point. Yeah, I see. That. Got a nice little groove there. That's definitely slots on one. So that slots on there. Yeah, fits in really well. Um, and in here, there are four corresponding holes there and four on the bracket. So you can just bolt that one into there. I'm hoping that'll be that then. Woo Stay there mate. As I say. No my no me, these I'll probably there are another four screws to go in here. So hopefully there'll still be four in a few seconds time when I finish doing this off. Oh, that's brilliant. I think that one's gone in already. Yep. That's that. 
believe it or not, even though it looks like I'm all fingers and thumbs, I'm a top rated rock and roll guitarist, but my hands are all gone now. Jupiterns and all kinds of things. Been doing it for too long, really. Maybe. Can't stop though. Get these screws in. Voila. That's all four. Uh, three, right? Three out of four. I'm paranoid about losing, dropping one of these on the cabin floor. I'm outside in the log cabin. So I'm pretty sure if I lose it, it won't be, won't be finding it for a while. Ba boom That goes over there. That goes over there. So, ba boom Next piece. Somewhere was a little wheel. It's pretty. Looking at the uh, my little picture that I put that I, off the website, you can see that the. The toothy part of the wheel is on the outside, and there's a small hole grub screw there for just locking it off. It doesn't, there are no instructions, but I, I would imagine, or I'm going to take a piece of piece of paper and just push it in between there and there push it fairly, just push it tight with my finger and then lock it off so that it's not actually touching. So that's a, a 4 mil, a 3 mil, and now another little tiddler grub screw uh, and key that I haven't got a clue what size this is, just a sec. Might be one and a half, 1.5. So what I'm going to do, as I say, I'm going to slot that on there. Just tear a piece of this off. Just gently push that up so that it's not locked on solid. So if I can get this scrub screw tightened off. And so I've got the right size bloody grubs. The right, excuse my language, the right sizes. It doesn't appear to be. It's not turning that. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not that one. I've got so many cross screws here. Pavel's probably, Pavel is watching this and probably thinking, oh my god. Anyway. If it ain't fun, it's not worth doing. Let's put my bit of paper back. I found a screw that will just tighten that one off. Tight is tight. Too tight is broke. I can feel that. Just give it a little... Feels good. I'm not sure if I, oh, maybe I should have put the um, the belt on at the same time. Yeah. Well, that's the way I am. Two sets. So I'm gonna whip that off. Whip that on there. That one. Maybe I should have. Everybody's shouting, No, you fool, do it the other way. So that's not working. That's the way you do it. Um, oh, I've lost me. Mm -hmm. I lost my um, just slacken these off a minute. Let it move. Mm 
here it is right down from there so it's pretty good so what I'm going to do is put oops is slide it over that's I'm not putting any pressure on that that's just gone on with no pressure at all so there's my belt oh blimey I can see that turning that already so not sure how tight that needs to be but this unit will will actually go up and down and to tighten it. it looks to me like it's spot on right from the get-go everyone watching this this is the way you, you become a telescope service engineer let's put my little bit of paper back in there just to before I tighten that one off it did work because the paper was quite tight the um, paper was just tight enough to get out once it's tight that my dear friends I should get a job in fixing telescopes and stuff shouldn't I papers grabbing that right pull that out it won't you won't use the um, big one it's very stiff but the fine one turns really really well right I'm just going to check that everything's finally tightened up it's getting a bit, it feels a bit dark in here I don't think that was I've got the wrong I don't think that was tight that all that tight actually it is now let's have a go Proof of the pudding will be in a minute when I fire this up. Well, that's not spinning, and the key's going around. Not that I'm supersonic paranoid, but that's tight. They're all the same. That's fairly. I did slacken those off. Bear in mind. I'm just making sure that it feels tight. Feels sufficient. To take the strain. This video is getting a bit overlong now for what this task is. But if you've ever done a Sesto Senso um, focuser as well, this is brilliant for non-intrusiveness and those Pegasus ones as well where you have to put a f fix it onto the collar of the the fine adjustment wheel on the focuser that's what attracted me to this to think well if this works which it looks like it's going to right that's all tightened up now so I'm just going to switch off for two secs and download some drivers Yep, everything's tight. Download some drivers. Ooh, my little Takahashi. Um, download some drivers. Whack a USB cable in and see what happens. Like the blue touch paper and stand well back. Right, here's the... Um, to get the software, just go down, go to the... Um, deepskydad.com and one of the uh, go down one of the solutions go to products AFC3 actually I think that's where I already am find, there's a link here to um, software I think it's called mm -hmm. Where is it? 
propel. Ah, right at the top. So, right at the details, and then USB serial driver. I don't know if I need that. I'll download it anyway. AF3 control panel. Bit I'll need that. Firmware. Hopefully, I'm not going to bother with that at the moment. ASCOM driver. That can go to. I've created a little file folder called Deep Sky Dad. Some of those other downloads went elsewhere. AF3 control panel. Show in folder. Mm, got two of those. Just two secs. Delete it. Cut. Right, where do I put that on? My secrets coming out here. Deep Sky Dad. Control V that on there. Right, so let's expand the air. So we'll extract all that. What I do? There's an application folder there. So we can delete the zip file there. And there's the ASCOM driver. Just double click it. Yeah, I don't see why not. I'll accept that. If I don't accept it, I won't get it. Well, it always makes me laugh. That. You can read the viewable file if you want to. It tells you what. Focus the driver for deep AF3. For more, no, 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 no. whatever. Yeah, we'll agree with all that. So, going back. Um, that's a, just an application. XE for driver installations. Nice. Well installed. This is the um, serial. Fair enough. Whatever that means. So all I've done is added the gas com driver. Okay. Let's go back to OBS. Stop it. And then I'll plug in the. Um, I'll plug in the um, USB, fire up some applications, and we'll see. Okay, okay. So here's the um, whoops, the final, the final countdown. Light the blue pa touch paper and Sam stand well back. Um, three bits of equipment you need is. To connect it up, we need the standard cigarette lighter power, 12 volts, 12 volt power connector, plugs in there. I've done that. It's actually just plugged into my um, bench power supply thing that I used to, to scope. So I've not been. Uh, this is the focus controller, moves it in and out. I've pushed that, put that in. You have to make sure that it's seated right in as well first off i thought oh it's not working it's broken but it's just that one it just needs make sure it seeds right in and a mini usb cable at attached here um proof of operation and i mean bear in mind that this is a a brand new takahashi 85 millimeter fsq all dancing premium primary ticket price telescope and so the focus are, it is really is quite tight to, to move maybe because it's not like a sky watcher one which I've been used to in the past but just you can see it's moving now that's plus moving quite well actually Yeah, I can feel the little micro adjuster moving. I'm well pleased with that. Okay, it's not mega fast. It's going out now. Minus is out and plus is forwards. Always confuses me that sometimes, especially when I'm doing this initial setup with these things. I'm glad it doesn't go too mad. 
But the idea of these, um, this type of uh, autofocuser, is that when it goes, when it reaches the final, you know, um, position of the focuser tube itself, it won't damage the tube because there isn't enough power in this motor. It's non-geared to, um, you know, try and keep going and forcing the um, the tube. I'm not going to try it. I, I, well, I could, but it'd probably take me a few minutes. But the motor isn't strong enough because it's not geared to do that. It will just spin round and round on its axis. I don't want to do that. I'm quite pleased with that. Now the next stage is connecting and running it off the PC, which I'm just going to do now. I'll just switch the um, channel on my OBS and we'll give that a whiz. Two seconds. So now I'll go to um, I've downloaded the ASCOM driver, just about everything else that moves on here actually I've downloaded more, but the ASCOM driver is the important bit. Just in, just follow the destructions. Uh, where are there they are? Set up an AF3 control panel, which I've installed as well. Well I'm just gonna run anyway. And off it goes. So it comes with. So we've got a control panel, a bit like F, uh, Pegasus and Sesto. Sesto, can't even say that word. Does so you can control everything here. M myself, I run during the night. I run Nina. Nighttime imaging software. So I can set that up. Load my profile. Um, it's not dark out at the moment, but the final, the big test is to choose your focuser. You can see I've got Pegasus. I've, or the one I normally been using is the Sesto Sesto. I say that too fast after a few beers, and it comes out really weird. But um, this time, obviously, choose Deep Sky Dad. Um, it is possible if you click the on on this system if I click the um, gear wheels you might need to if it's not connecting do you need to make sure you get the comp the com port set and hit the set button and there we are uh, come up with a, a target position so it's a starting position which you, which you'd have I want to move it, how many max increment, very good. That's just moved it. Oh yes. I'm looking over my shoulder and I can see that it's that it moved it. These are fast movements, so that's ten. As you can see that's count down now, it's six six five oh one six six two. Seven two. I'm really pleased with this. That seems to be lovely, jubbly. That definitely moved out the main outlet. So now it's just a matter of um, going out there and setting it up. I haven't set up the telescope yet with all its gizmos, but um, at some point I will. I want to get a clear afternoon and just go through the autofocus routine in um, 
Nina, and see what happens. But I can, t I can intuitively tell just by looking at it that it will be fine. Awesome stuff. Thank you, Deep Sky Dad. I'm a very happy puppy. And that easy to install as well. Awesome stuff. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Cheers for now.